All right, thank you, Booker. We tonight the desperate search for Gabby Petito continues. The 22-year-old woman who police say vanished on a cross-country trip with her fiance. Police naming her fiance a person of interest. Yeah, tonight we're hearing from his sister Cassie, who is speaking for the first time since Gabby went missing. ABC 4's Jillian Smuckler joining us live from the Fairfield Inn and Suites near Salt Lake International Airport. And Jillian, that was one of the last places Gabby was seen. Yeah, Glenn, and back on August 24th, Gabby was seen checking out of this hotel behind me with Brian. Now, Brian returned home to Florida a week later in the van that they both traveled in, but without Gabby. And even though Brian isn't speaking or helping with this search, his sister Cassie is breaking her silence tonight. Gabby Petito has been missing for 23 days after she disappeared on a cross country trip with her fiance, Brian Laundrie. I think our plan for today is to just hang out. As the search for Gabby wraps up its fifth day, her dad is begging for help finding his daughter as Laundry stays silent. I'm asking for help from everyone here. I'm asking for help everyone at home. I'm asking for help from the parents of, uh, of Brian. And I'm asking for help of the family members and friends of the Laundry family as well. Well, that person of interest is refusing to talk, his sister Cassie is. Obviously, me and my family want Gabby to be found safe. She's like a sister, and my children love her. And all I want is for her to come home safe and sound, and this to be just a big misunderstanding. Meanwhile, there's still no word on where Gabby might be. Two people went on a trip, one person returned. And that person that returned isn't providing us any information. Police are looking into an incident in Moab where body camera shows the couple days before she vanished. What's going on? How come you're crying? I'm crying. You've just been fighting this morning. Some personal issues. Moab police responding to a 911 call for a fight between the two on Main Street. I didn't get overtly physical. I was just trying to keep her away. The police report says at one point, Petito went to slap her fiance. He pushed her away, catching Petito off balance. She then scratched him in the face. I have OCD and sometimes I can get really frustrated. No charges were filed, but police separated the couple for the night. And then they hit the road again. He always does the right thing, like in the body cam. He, he's a, he cooperates with the police and he he's a wonderful uncle. He's always been there when I need him. Like he's, I mean, he's been there every time Gabby's needed him. The Petito family lawyer says they fully believe that the Laundries know exactly where their daughter is, and the fact that they won't tell them or help in this search is infuriating. They even wrote a letter to the Laundries asking them to tell them if they're looking in the right area or not. But obviously, as you can imagine, just a heartbreaking situation for both families involved. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Jillian Smuckler, ABC4 News.